Hi, I'm Juliana Sellers, and I'm recording this career profile number two for my Family 150 class. I chose to study being a hospice grief counselor, and most of my research actually comes from my experience receiving counseling from our grief counselor that worked with my family after my husband died two and a half years ago. I attempted to actually call her, but I wasn't able to connect with my grief counselor. So a hospice grief counselor basically works with families who are dealing with the loss of a loved one. They try to meet with the family before their loved one pass, passes away, and then they meet with them for once a month for up to a year after their loved one passes away, more frequently if needed, but usually about once a month. They'll meet with the family. They may have an office where they keep their files, but mostly they travel to the homes of the people they work with. The hours they work are mostly business hours, but may involve later hours to work around the, the schedules of the families that they work with. They also might just work with the parent or parents in a family, or they may work with the whole family, including the children, or they may alternate back and forth between the two. And typical stressors, it can be really emotionally challenging to constantly be with people who are hurting and experiencing loss. It can be really challenging to support clients through this difficult time in their lives and to see people look like they're making great progress and then see them get hit by those waves of grief as they tend to come and go throughout the grieving process. They, it requires a great deal of empathy, and they may find themselves you know, feeling along with their clients. Uh, to, uh, benefits can vary depending on the company that the counselor is working with and if they're working full-time or part-time. Um, part-time usually doesn't receive many benefits. Full-time can receive full benefits, including health, life, um, and disability and retirement. Common job tasks are to meet with families who have lost a loved one or who are currently receiving hospice care. They learn what those families' needs are and see how they can best support them. They listen to their clients and meet them where they're at in the grieving process as well as suggesting activities that might help them to process through their grief. They may give informational seminars on grief support, or they may even help with grief camps or with grief support groups. The minimum education level required is a bachelor's degree, usually in a social services related field. A master's degree is helpful and required in some states. And certification as a grief counselor can be received through various organizations, such as the American Academy of Grief Counseling or the Association for Death and Education Counseling. Recertification is necessary and continuing education is required in order to remain a certified grief counselor. It was really hard to find specifically the salary for a grief counselor because it's not specifically listed in the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The closest thing I could find was a salary for all other counselors and for my area in the Kansas City metro area the uh, mean was $49,550 a year. Um, EHOW had statistics listing salaries as $50,751 for a mental health counselor up to as high as $66,000 a year for a hospice grief counselor. And just some other things to keep in mind with this career, it's important to respect where the clients are at in this profession as you serve people and helping them through their process. It is vital to realize that you can't save people, that you can't make everything okay when they've experienced a significant loss, but you can be there to support them and meet them where they are in that process. And that's what I would potentially like to do is help people through this grieving process. Thank you.